know. We know the humidity's coming. We know we're going to get 90 to 100. But still, I know they need a break and are going to get a little bit of that. But I think so do we. <laughs> we need a break too. I think everybody just kind of needs Please. a break, especially on yeah. a Tuesday. And we need some yes. rainfall. Yeah. I mean, we haven't had significant rainfall I mean, in days, but we're going to get a little help. So Good. we had a system it's that time. developed fast yesterday. This guy was not wasting any time. And because of that, we'll see some moisture moving on in. Here's a live look. Thanks to our sky cam this morning. Current temperature 77 degrees. Winds are calm, but you know the drill. We've got high dew points, a lot of moisture in the air. So temperatures aren't fluctuating too much. You head your way over in Murfreesboro. Current temperature for y'all coming in 75 to start off the day. The power of five radar is not picking up on anything other than some ground clutter. But you'll notice if we take a step back, we do have what is left of Danny that is currently right along the Alabama Georgia state line. Well, lightning is involved with it as well. It's slow, small, but mighty, and it's going to bring some bands into our direction. Not only cloud bands, but also a chance for some showers. But because we're just so intensely moisturized, it doesn't take much of a lift to bring some showers. So we've got that we're working with. The heat of the day, which also will pick up a few of those popcorn showers. And then we head our way into Thursday. This cold front is going to eventually move into our area. I know it looks close because it is. It's just lollygagging and it just kind of taking its sweet old time. This morning already picking up a few of those cloud bands from what is associated with what is left of Danny. Temperatures right now are in the upper 60s over into Crossville. You're the coolest spot. Everybody else, you're in the 70s. Yes, some of you are even warmer than where you were yesterday. Like yesterday, we are going to not necessarily have face value for our temperatures. As we get closer to 8 o'clock, it's going to feel like 85. Like deja vu, isn't it? Then you head into that 10 o'clock hour, it's going to feel like 92. Very similar feel to how things worked out yesterday. So we're starting off the day dry, mostly clear. The clouds are going to move on in. As we head throughout the lunchtime hour, that's when I look to see some of these bands easing in from our east, pushing westward. Because these are associated with some tropical moisture and we've got such high dew points, we're going to have some heavy downpours associated with it. It's also going to come with some breezy winds. Nothing too significant, but it'll be a little bit of a skirt alert as we go throughout the day. So, of course, we've got that tropical moisture. The heat of the day also bringing some of those showers. We transition to tomorrow. We're going to do a very similar situation, just lacking the tropical moisture, more of the heat of the day. We head our way into Thursday. That's when we're going to see more widespread showers as well as some storms moving their way in. That will cool us off. So change is coming. You just got to wait on it. Here's a look over the next seven days. 92 today It's going to feel as if we're hitting 92 by 10 o'clock. So you can imagine the afternoon when we do finally get to 92, it's going to feel as if we're in the upper 90s. We'll see waves and bands of showers as well as storms moving in. Some showers will move in on Wednesday, but our best rain chance will be Thursday into Friday associated with that cold front. As far as how much rain we're anticipating, one to three inches overall as we head throughout the next five days. Fourth of July, though, what a treat. We're going to start out in the upper 50s, low 60s with a high of 85.